Aloha, this is Just Ask John, where I, John Roth, an estate planning attorney, answer your estate planning questions. Today's question is, what happens to my pets when I die? Our pets are very important parts of our lives. I myself have a four-legged furry family member. Her name is Hanai. If you've been to our office, she's our official greeter as well. She takes her job very seriously. and. Um, I am concerned. I want to make sure after my lifetime, if she survives me, that she is taken care of as well, if not better, than I take care of her myself. So in this situation, you have three options. One, you don't necessarily have to do anything. If there's someone in your life who is willing and able to take care of your pet and nobody else is going to get in the way, they already know how to take care of your pet maybe because they help pet sit during your lifetime, that person can just step in and help take care of your pet after your lifetime. If you need a little bit more structure because you're not sure maybe there's going to be a fight over who gets your pet uh, and you just want to make sure that the correct person uh, gets your pet and is able to take care of your pet, in your will you can say, I leave my pet or my pets to this specific person. Although they are family members, they're also considered tangible personal property. So pets can be left just like a bank account or a car to a specific person. If you do leave your pet to a specific person, I think it's great advice to put together kind of a roadmap information about your pet, how they like to be taken care of, their daily routine, their favorite toy, their, fa their favorite walk, their favorite food. And so uh, their life is not disturbed too much without you, their owner. And the third option is something that we now call a pet trust. Uh, in Hawaii, prior to 2005, pet trusts were not allowed. The state of Hawaii required the beneficiary to be an individual or a charitable organization. But now, since 2005, Hawaii has provided a law that allows a pet to be the sole beneficiary of a trust, hence a pet trust. In this case, you'd have to name a trustee who would be the one responsible to manage the funds that are in the trust, maybe it's your home, or investment accounts, um, any assets that you have could be in the trust and used by the trustee pursuant to whatever your trust says. You can have your trust say what, whatever you want it to say in terms of how your pet or pets are taken care of. Uh, and then ultimately after your pet or pet's lifetimes, uh, then the trust says who the ultimate beneficiaries will be whether that's other family members or charitable organizations. Those are kind of the three main options for how to make sure your pets are taken care of after your lifetime. And if you have any further questions, please comment below or go to our website, hawaiitrustlaw.com. Thank you and aloha.